Hey everyone and welcome back to the Venom Vlog and this episode is actually an update on the episode that I just posted like an hour ago. Um, it is about 1.15 on January 24th and uh, we have this information here about residents in San Francisco uh, making complaints and seeking $2 billion in a class action lawsuit calling for the Treasure Island's $6 billion redevelopment to halt until the land is free of contamination. So holy cow, what a crazy update. And, you know, and normally stuff is brought, this like this kind of stuff is brought to my attention by, you know, viewers of the show or viewers of the episode. Uh, but this literally just went up to, like not too long ago, like, you know, less than an hour ago or so. And uh, so I post that video and I, uh, because I posted it and because I covered it, obviously phones keep track of your data and what you look up and what you research. And so this popped up in my newsfeed just randomly uh, as the article went live. And uh, I was blown away by this. I mean, obviously I, you know, normally this doesn't really... This involves the Venom movie a little bit as far as like filming and location and stuff. So we'll talk about that briefly, but uh, this isn't a fully Venom focused episode, but it could affect the filming of the movie, at least in this location. You know, hopefully the the studio and, you know, Sony and everyone working on the film has like a plan B, that they, like a backup plan, other places they can film. But this does kind of affect the filming to some degree. I don't know how much filming was going to be done here on uh, Film Treasure Island, but uh, it's so weird. We just talked about this. Uh, we got that update from like a month ago that uh, that Fillmore, a.k.a. Venom 2, is going to be filming on this island in February, you know, just weeks away, maybe like, you know, as little as two to three weeks away, um, potentially, you know, to start filming there. So what this is, uh, this is from Business Insider, dozens of residents that live or have lived in San Francisco's Treasure Island have filed a class action lawsuit saying that officials lied to them for years regarding the full scope of the contamination on the island and their subsequent exposure to it. Holy cow. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I wanted to, as a follow-up video to the last one, I wanted to include this because uh, it is Venom related in some way. This is going to affect the filming of the movie, but this is actually affecting people's lives. Like, people are, are uh, you know, accusing or saying that uh that there there's contamination on this island they, that they've lived on and it's worse than they even thought it was and i guess they recently found out it was this bad and uh, and now there's a six billion dollar remodeling of the island so that they can bring more jobs and production to san francisco and here it may not even be freaking safe um how that that's got to look bad for the mayor and all the people that are working on this and, and you know, who knows maybe the mayor just didn't know and this you know this was brought to their table and they were like hey this sounds like a good way to create jobs and you don't maybe don't know all the details so you know you could I could play devil's advocate either way and and, and it's easy to you know not know some things sometimes and uh, and as embarrassing that it is you know that can be if you don't know you don't know you know so uh, I'm not here to speculate on that so much I'm just here to read what this article saying and how crazy this is um, the island was once used by the US Navy as a waste dump for contaminants and for nuclear training exercises that resulted in radioactive radioactive exposure to the island um, the lawsuit stipulates that two billion dollars be paid in damages from several defendants and that a six billion dollar redevelopment currently planned for the island be paused until all toxic substances are confirmed to have been removed. Uh, the U.S. Navy has attempted to clear the site of contamination multiple times, but new signs of radiation are frequently found. Toxic waste and its effects still linger on the island, according to a Reuters uh, investigation. How crazy is this? 47 residents of San Francisco's Treasure Island neighborhood, both current and former, filed a class action lawsuit Thursday against several defendants saying that officials lied to them for years, regarding the full scope of contamination on the island as reported by the San Francisco Chronicle. So that's the thing is like, you know, that news that came out about a month ago about them renovating this and, you know, and rebuilding and bringing movie studios there and talking about the movies that got them a little buzz. And that probably got these people looking more into it and got somebody to, you know, look more into it. And then they're saying that there's a uh, radiation traces of it still around and that they were told, that there wouldn't, that there isn't, and that when they moved there, there there was no more traces, and now they're saying they've been lied to, and they're seeking all this money, and this looks like it's going to put a halt on the rebuilding of this island and the reconstruction and redevelopment that's going on there, which then in turn affects the Venom Two filming. So now the Venom Two film, you know, the movie 
They're going to have to either look for other locations. Like I said, I don't know how much they're filming on this island. Hopefully not much, uh, especially to put the cast and the crew and all these people, all these people that live there uh, in harm's way like that. Um, and again, you don't know, you don't know, but still it's like that doesn't make anyone feel better about the situation. People, you know, who for all we know could start seeing symptoms, could get sick. We don't know the levels of it. You know, they don't talk about that too much here in the article. Uh, they just talk about the lawsuit being there, but how it affects Venom and why we're talking about it on the show is because it's a follow-up to the previous episode, which I'm going to post this immediately now and get this up there um, so people see this update, uh, but also know that this could affect the filming of Venom 2 and push back the filming just a little bit. Um, you know, or, or I mean, because what they're probably doing now is working on new permits, you know, and again, this is all just speculation on my part, but I would imagine this news is going to travel to the, you know, the production of Venom 2, and they're going to know that they might not be able to go to this island now, and so they're probably looking for other things, like, okay, we need to send a scout to look at other locations because movies are such a big deal when you send a scout like a tech scout or you know you know and you, you go to locations you figure out what equipment you're going to need you know we talked about this in the pre-production video that we made a while back about what is pre-production um there's there's all these things you got to do in filmmaking where you got to get permits you get like people work around the clock and work really hard to set up these locations make sure that they can bring the right equipment there and now whatever they were going to film here on, on film treasure island is now potentially gone and they're not going to be able to film there anymore and that could affect you know certain things in the movie so uh so that's why we're talking about it here um so yeah i wanted to bring this to you uh, your attention this is really intense obviously i'll put a, a link to this down below from the business insider website and i'll put it down below so you can check out you know um you know, basically this update and read the full article for yourself and and see like some of the quotes and some of the things they talk about. But yeah, this uh, could potentially uh, affect the filming a little bit. Who knows? Maybe they'll just be like, hey, you know what? Let's film an extra week here in London and just get a couple things here um, and then, you know, push back our filming in Feb, you know, you know, film, push back or filming in, uh, in San Francisco, push it back like a week or so to give the, you know, other departments more time to find new locations, to find, to get permits. Um, that may be the case as well. We don't know. So, uh, or they'll, they'll push up things they do have permits for in San Francisco, film those first and give those to other departments more time to replace these scenes, you know, with, with other locales. So, um, or who knows, maybe they'll still try to go film there. You never know. Uh, it doesn't look like they will be allowed to if, if they're, if this place is shutting down and until further notice of, you know, radiation levels, um, they may not just risk it. And, and I wouldn't either, you know, honestly, um, it's better to be safe, especially when you got all these great actors and, and, and people working on these movies and you got people who live in this area, you know, who, who could have been affected all these years. So it's just, a, it's a heartbreaking story and it, it's a bummer to read. Um, but I'm glad I got this update so soon so I could bring it to you guys as soon as possible. So let me know your thoughts on this. Now this development, uh, down below and, uh, and you know, if anyone out there has any more information or seen other articles go up, please link them down below so we can all stay informed on this matter. Uh, thank you so much for being here. As always, uh, let your comments be known down below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks again. See you in the future. Peace.